Say, behold, I come. We want to pray anything that want to quench our zeal for the Lord. Amen. Anything that want to quench our fire, God, take it away. Amen. Bible says, because wickedness shall increase in the last days, the love of many will wax cold. Amen. We want to ask God to set us on fire Amen. so that we'll love Him more, we'll serve Him more. Praise God. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I pray today. As I pray today. Baptize me with fire. Baptize me with fire. Give me zeal to serve you. Give me zeal to serve you. Every obstacle standing before me. Every obstacle standing before me. That want to quench my zeal. That want to stop me from serving you. As I clap my hands and pray. Take them out by fire. Come on, lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Take them away, take them away, take them away. Touching our families. Amen. Any problem in my family that is affecting me, hallelujah, Amen. let it be exposed and be demolished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, family is everything. You are never completely free until your family is free. And the Lord has given me a message this morning on family deliverance. Hallelujah. We want to pray, God, open my eyes. Locate me in my family. Any problem that is affecting me through my family, let that problem be addressed today. Somebody say, my father, my father. As I pray today, every obstacle in my family that is affecting me, that want to slow me down, that is a barricade to my progress, as I clap my hands and pray, scatter my fire. We are going to pray. This year must end well for me. Amen. Can I say that to the person? But this year must end well for my family. This year must end well for my family. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 11, Thou crownest the year with thy goodness, and thy bad drop with fatness. Hallelujah. That means the end of a matter will be better than the beginning thereof. From now to the end of this year, God will show up in your family. Amen. I said from now to the close of the year, what you have not seen from January to September, you shall enjoy from September to December. Amen. That amen is not born again. Well, well. Amen. Somebody say, my father, my father. My father. As I pray right now, whatsoever the enemy has organized to make these remaining years of my year bitter, remaining years of the year bitter, as I pray today, I scatter the plans of the enemy. 2019 shall end well for me and my family. I say in Jesus. 
Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 He has done so much for me. I cannot stay because of faulty foundation. There are things that happen in their family that are spilled over to them. In Exodus chapter 20, let me just give you a scripture. Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5. God said, don't bow down to idols. Don't bow down to those demons. Don't get yourself involved with those devilish societies and cults and occult. He said, because I am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children up to the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Hallelujah. One man has done something wrong, but there's a spillover to the first, second, third, and fourth generation of innocent people. Hallelujah. A lot of people are suffering today as a result of that. Praise God. But every cause today is broken. How many of you remember the story of Reuben? Reuben, if you read the book of Genesis 49, 40, verse 3 to 4, the Bible says Reuben went and slept with his father's wife, father's concubine. And when the father got to know about it, the Bible says he was upset before he died. He said, Reuben, you are my firstborn. You are the beginning of my strength, the excellency of my mindset. Because of what you did, you will not excel. You will not prosper. Hallelujah. And what this father said became like a blanket that covered not only Reuben, it covered even this family. What is it? What is the covenant? An agreement that was made yesterday by somebody, but it has created a pattern in the family. There are certain families all the firstborn they are useless. Which is chapter 6 verse 24, 25, 26 God said to Gideon there is an altar that is erected in your father's compound. An altar that was erected to a particular demigod to an idol. It's as long as that altar is standing there. Are you listening to me now? Number one, you give your life to God. Number two, aggressive prayer. Number three, you sow a seed. That is how you break those evil altars. Praise God. Who is that? There was a lady I spoke to here, Professor said, Lassen. The Lord told me, where is, where is the star talking about servicing this altar? Right. Yeah, right here. You also. He's another person. Can you stand close here? I'm serious. Two of you. There are things, there are things. Are you people related? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. You see, that's what, just because there's, there are some things that was done in your family in time past, until you render the same service to God, you can never break those things. The only, the power of God, these two ladies, I don't know them, 
I've only seen the official, I've never knew their, their sisters. Hallelujah. But Lord is asking me to tell you, they, they must serve in this church as if they are crazy. Then some things will begin to break and those will begin to happen. And what did I told that girl, sister, the last time that I, I did not tell her? The Lord asked me to tell her that it should be her duty and responsibility to take care of this altar. Take care of this altar. Keep this altar clean. They call this altar. Since I've been coming here, nobody gave me a cash here. It should be on any guest preacher that is coming to preach. It's your duty to give out cash here. Some water, some drinks. Hallelujah. That is what you do to reverse certain people in your family that were actively engaged in serving the devil. I brought some difficulties in your life. As you do that, it's going to break. Amen. Hallelujah. By the time I come back to this school,